Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings, this time a mixture of Kenyan and Lapsang Sushong for those who are interested, not that anybody is but never mind. Today, The Last of the Blacks. Owing to the generosity of Chris Curtis and Doug Waddle, Waddell, I apologise for mispronunciation, Chris has sent me a lovely Mont Blanc Grey, at least I say it's lovely, I haven't tried it yet. I've got my own Mont Blanc Black, I've also got a Diamine Midnight, and thanks to Mr Waddell I've got Hiroshizuku Takesumi, I've got Platinum Carbon Black, and I've got Waterman Black. So let's have a look and see what all these do. But I'm also going to be testing out two other inks from Chris. One, Orchidean Violet, Dark Orchid, from Zeitz Kreuznach. Nice. It's a good ink. And I've also got some Noodler's Base State Blue to test as well, which is very bright. And it's going to be interesting to have a look at them compared to all the other blues and so on. So let's get with it. So let's start off with the first of the Mont Blancs. And because there's two greys on these pages, I'll test the permanent grey from Mont Blanc first. So let's go. It's Mont. Permanent grey. Next up, we have the Mont Blanc Black, oddly enough. Definitely is a black. Next up, we have a delightful sample of Hiroshizuku Takesumi. Let's see what this is like. Rushes at Kasumi. Right. Next up, Waterman Black. Again, feels really good on the paper. And now we have Platinum Carbon Black from Goulet Pens, who are also the people who made this very excellent notepad. I should just say, people have asked if I could show what it's like on both sides of the paper. Every time I've written, I've been writing on both sides of the paper, and there's no bleed through, nothing at all. This, I think it's 68 gram Goula, uh, Tomo River paper sold by Goulet Pens is fantastic. So, Platinum Carbon Black. Now, I've got a problem with this. There's so little in this bottle that I couldn't actually fill the feed, so I might have to keep dipping. Platinum Carbon... whoops. Black. Very intense, oddly enough, black colour. Moving on from the blacks, now let's go to some diamine ink at last. Midnight. I don't know if this is black or very dark blue or what it's going to be. Let's find out. It's a dark blue. It's rather a nice dark blue, actually. I like that. Feels very, very good in the pen. Okay, so now we've had some Diamine Midnight, which I love. I'm going to try some Bay State Blue, which I think might be a little bit more leery. So this is... Oh yes, much more. <laughs> Rather nice though. Very, very bright indeed. And last, but certainly not least, some Zeitz Kreuznach, Colours of Nature, Dark Orchid. Orchidean Violet. There you go. Let's try this. It could take a while to write down. So, just in case you'd forgotten, all of these writings have come from The Dead Don't Wait, which is a brilliant, brilliant book. Publishers Weekly like it, Kirkus Reviews like it, so what can I say? It's worth buying. Right, blacks and greys. Let's have a quick look and review. If I had to make a comment on them, I would say the diamines are a more pale 
and bluish tinged grey, whereas the Mont Blanc seemed to go down more with more of a reddish tinge. It's not so clear now that the inks have dried, but graphite and grey certainly seem to go down quite blue. The quartz black I think is rather lovely. I think I prefer that to any of these greys, but if I had to pick a grey, sadly, I think it might be Mont Blanc. It just looks slightly nicer and warmer on the page. Onyx black and jet black. If you like black, you might like them. They are, as far as I'm concerned, black. Mont Blanc black is a much deeper black than I... Well, it, Mont Blanc seemed to go on more thickly. It seemed to go on very nicely. Iroshizuku, though, is definitely... If you really want deep, dark blacks, Iroshizuku is the one to go for. Much darker than the Watermans, which actually came out... And the Platinum black as well. Both of them came out as, I would say, dark greys rather than black. My daughter, director, is a is agreeing with me. So if you really want shocking blacks, go for the Takesumi, unless you want to save money, because you could probably buy three bottles of Watermans for one bottle of Hiroshizuku, because this stuff's expensive. Hey-ho, that's the way it goes. Over here we have Diamine Midnight, Noodler's Bay State, both of them blues. And if I could compare blues with other blues we have here, if I can find the darned things, here we go. The Bay State is really quite an astonishing colour. First of all, the Midnight is a much darker colour than Diamine Twilight. You can see the difference there. It's almost a dark purple. It's so dark. Bay State Blue. Trying to find something. is very much like Sargasso Sea. Right. A little bit lighter, perhaps. Sort of a cross between perhaps the Royal Blue and Sargasso Sea. Don't think there's a good comparison there. It's sort of a brighter Imperial, perhaps. Quite like Sapphire. So, very good workable blue if you want something for work. I think it's probably pretty much bulletproof too, in terms of whether it'll cope with being wetted or anything. Let's just try. Uh, it, it does dissolve a little bit, but um, a good working blue. The Orchidean Violet is very much like a cross between Diamine's Lavender and their Majestic Purple. Somewhere in the middle of the two, not too far off either of them. A very, very nice colour. I think that's quite impressive. So there you have it. If you want a real dark black, personally I would say Iroshizuku. If you want one that's not quite as expensive, possibly Mont Blanc, possibly Onyx. Personally I'd go with Quartz, which is not as deep and shocking on the page, but I think that makes it look rather nicer on the page. The choice is up to you. But in terms of greys, I'll go for the Mont Blanc. So there you go. The last of the blacks and another blue and a violet. I have got a few other inks which I can have a look at, which are basically all the revolting ones. They may go into a later video. They are things such as Peach Haze and Pink and Cerise and Shocking Highlighter from Pelican. So I have a few other things, but for now, that's the lot. Hope that was interesting. If you enjoyed that, please go down to the bottom. There's a Patreon link. You can go and have a look at what I've got on there. There is the comment section, so add any comments you want to. There is the subscribe section with a bell to hit if you want to get notified about other things. There's a share and there's a, all that stuff. You know what it's all about. And so thanks a lot for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.